Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me what happens if I pass a breath test. So, you are an actual physical control of a motor vehicle and a police officer lawfully came into contact with you and made a judgment call that you were driving under the influence. You were handcuffed, taken to the police station, offered a breath test. You took it. Your breath reading turned out to be below the legal limit. Now what? The good news is that if you blow, and if you blow under, then you are not going to suffer an automatic driver's license suspension. That's right, DMV is going to leave you alone. You may not depart the police station of your own accord, but when you do leave, be it through the front door or the back door, in either event, you're going to be leaving with your driver's license in your possession. The not so good news is that blowing under is not a get out of the police station free card. You can still be booked, prosecuted, and even convicted with a breath sample below the legal limit. How is this possible, you ask? The answer is that in order to prove DUI, the state has to establish two things beyond a reasonable doubt. The first is that you are in actual physical control of a motor vehicle, and the second is that at that time, your breath alcohol content was 0.08 or higher, or you were under the influence of alcohol or a controlled substance to the extent that your normal faculties were impaired. By the time that you were ever asked to provide a breath sample, the police had already gone on record by placing you under arrest. The odds that the cops are going to unarrest you just because of a low breath sample are pretty much as good as the odds of my winning the Powerball. Cops virtually never admit mistakes. If anything, you can usually count on the police to double down on their mistakes. In fact, with a low breath sample, you can expect them to request you to provide a urine sample. And if you have anything in your urine, which includes prescription medications, then the state's going to argue that you are impaired because of the controlled substance. Yep, the deck is stacked against you. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.